Welcome to Birdland. Thank you for joining us. We want to thank you for supporting live music. But just a reminder, you're more than welcome to take photos, but please, no flash. Birdland is proud to present the Louis Armstrong Eternity Band, directed by David Oswald. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you and good night. <laughs> you know better. Wow. Same joke for 24 years. Anyway, what I meant to say was thank you, welcome to the stunningly beautiful Birdland Theater. We are the Louis Armstrong Eternity Band. Here for your listening pleasure. And I'd like to introduce you to the members of our orchestra. On my far left, your far right, I speak not politically necessarily, from Cleveland, Tennessee, ladies and gentlemen, Jim Fryer. <laughs> On trumpet from Chinchilla, Pennsylvania, the killer from Chinchilla, Joe Boga. <laughs> On clarinet and alto saxophone, on loan from the National Football League, ladies and gentlemen, Peyton Manning. <laughs> Woo! I think she thought it was like, it's actually Will Anderson from Bethesda, Maryland. <laughs> but Peyton looks like him, right? Yeah, a little bit. What a letdown. What a letdown, all right. Yeah, and Peyton got more applause too. But. <laughs> Over here on banjo and guitar is a young man who needs no introduction. Hello! <laughs> on drums, from Chappaqua, New York, ladies and gentlemen, how about a nice hand for the great Alex Raiderman! Raiderman. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Oh my god. Okay. Yes, he will get an introduction <laughs> after all. Although he doesn't need one because I can say without a shadow of a doubt, but of all the banjo players on West 44th Street on Wednesdays at 5.30 between 8th and 9th Avenue, this young man is one of them. <laughs> Undoubtedly. He also is a fantastic musician, a great singer, as you are soon to find out. From Vancouver, British Columbia, ladies and gentlemen, have a nice hand for the great Arnt Arntzen. <laughs> My name is David Ostwald. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. I will be your tuba player this evening. I am from Swarthmore, Pennsylvania. Thank Woo! you. Please remain seated Woo! for now. Woo! All right, Woo! all right. We're gonna we're gonna keep it rolling right now. We're gonna do a tune. We're gonna have Arnie sing a tune right now, that's so popular nobody even does it anymore. It's written by the great Hoagie Carmichael. Here it is, Stardust. <laughs> Echoes in the shadows of my heart Far up in the sky the little birds fly Always reminding me that we're apart You wander down the lane and far away You're leaving me a song that will not die Love is the stardust of yesterday the music of the years gone by. Sometimes I wonder why I spent the lonely years dreaming of a song. The melody will haunt the memory and fly on once again. saying they're not still, but that was long ago. Now my consolation is a the stardust of a song. Beside that garden gate where stars are bright, you are in my arms. The nightingale will tell his fairy tale of
on fire already. Arnie Arnson on the vocal, how about that? And Joe Boga on the high C, D? Oh, wow. That's all the way up there. All right, folks. As I said earlier, we are the Louis Armstrong Eternity Band. We are here every Wednesday at the stunningly beautiful Birdland Theater. We've been here every week for 24 years. Two weeks. Uh, wow, I was right. Two weeks in a row is a steady gig. We did take a little break for a while when things were closed up, but we made up for it by playing in Riverside Park and got warmed up so we could sound even better when we returned. We've been back now for a couple of years anyway, which all goes to say that we're not the only wonderful group that's here at the stunningly beautiful Birdland Theater, or upstairs for that matter. Birdland is chock full of great music all the time, day and night. Six, seven, eight, nine, sometimes even ten nights a week, I've heard. <laughs> yeah, Will Anderson and his brother Pete are going to be here, right here where we sit now, on Tuesdays, but he's playing the music of um, Rogers and Hart, Roy Rogers and Kevin Hart. And um, <laughs> that's on Tuesday at 5.30. Vince Giordano's Nighthawks is one of my favorite bands. They're here on Mondays, 5.30 and 8.30. Anyway, check out the schedule or the schedule, depending on where you're from. All right, we are going to uh, keep it rolling now, do a tune that was written by the great Fats Waller, and it appeared on a record that Louis Armstrong did in the 50s called Satch Plays Fats, produced by the late, great George Avakian. It's called Crazy About My Baby, and we're gonna have Jim Fryer sing this one. So much talent up here. Thank you. 
Jim Fryer, ladies and gentlemen, how about that? Woo! All right, love that tune. All right, we're going to go out on a limb here. I think, I think we have you on our side. So we're going to take a chance, and we're going to take a, um, a chance on love here and um, do a tune that's uh, not only not generally associated with Louis Armstrong, although it does have a lot of the same notes in it as some of the tunes he did play, but um, it's associated with more modern bands, even though it was written in the 1930s. It's called Cherokee, so bear with us. We'll take a, be we'll take a brief survey afterwards, if you don't mind, and you'll tell us if you think we should keep it in the book or not. Here it is, Cherokee.
right, so what do you say, folks? Keep it in the book? Yes, keep it. Keep it. I got three keep it's and, and 57 abstentions. All right, we'll take it under advisement. Anyway, thank you. We love that tune. We'll work on it. It'll be better next time. Even better. Even better. All right. I think that anyone whose first name starts with a J is in the front line, deserves a little break right now, which we will give them and feature our wonderful lead man, Mr. Not Peyton Manning, on a tune of his choice. What you got, Pops? I'd like to select a song that was recorded by Louis Armstrong and Duke Ellington together. And this is an Ellington composition. It's called, I Got It Bad and That Ain't Good.
Anderson, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! Woo! <laughs> All right. All right. We're gonna we're gonna keep it rolling and have Jim Fryer sing another one right now. It's a good old good one from the 1920s. This one's called There'll Be Some Changes Made. From the second chorus off or somewhere a few choruses in. Is that all right? Take your time. Yeah, we'll blow some choruses up here later. We don't want to we don't want to rush it.
Fryer. Ladies and gentlemen. All right. All right, I've got another brief survey, if you don't mind. Are you having fun or what? Are you having fun or what? <laughs> All right, truth be told, we can feel it, but we know you're having fun, but we are musicians and we're flattery operated. <laughs> and so, you know, the more affirmation of it that we get, the more therapy sessions we can skip during the week. <laughs> so you guys just saved us like a few hundred bucks each. That's just for the co-pays, but we thank you for that. All right, I think we need to, uh, I think we need to calm things down a bit after that exciting vocal from Jim Fryer. I think it's time for Arnie to sing another soggy ballad. What do you say, folks? Yeah, it's ballad. raining out, yes. you know. It's a good day for a soggy ballad, and nobody does it better than the great Arnt Arnston. And Arnie, they call him. <laughs> <laughs> this one is about a. a time-tested New York hobby, complaining. <laughs> it's called I Got a Right to Sing the Blues. Thank you. 
nice harold arlen's i gotta write to sing the muse the the muse the blues that too featuring jim fryer on the euphonium there and of course the great vocalist of the 21st century arnt arnson i mean come on folks let me try that again and the great vocalist of the 21st century arnt arnson how about that folks All right, there you go. Two more weeks of therapy, Skip. Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's see how we're doing on time here. Oh, we got time for a few more. Good. So we're going to do one right now that, uh, that Louis Armstrong first recorded in 1926, for those of you who may be taking hysterical notes. This one is uh, written by him, recorded with his Hot Five, but it's one of the tunes that he kept on playing in many different configurations during his big band years <coughs> in the 40s, and then... In the all-star period, when he played with a small group, kind of like this one, he kept playing it and playing it because it's a great tune. It's called Strutting with Some Barbecue. Ah. All right, let's do the first. And then we'll do, um, we'll do two out of four pulses. Okay. Okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, Ha <laughs> ha 
are fine for the band leader. <laughs> All right. It was nice anyway, right? We didn't end together. You'll forgive us. All right. We'll make it up to you, I promise you, on, on the next couple of tunes, which are going to be, unfortunately, that's right. We, we can't tempt. We can come down from our right. We can come down from our pedestal. We yeah. just have, like, those, those rugs they make in the Far East that are, always have a defect because they don't want to tempt the gods. That's why, that's why we messed up the ending there, folks. <laughs> anyway, uh, we do only have time for a couple more tunes. I'm Aww. sorry to say we've just about Aww. run out of time. Yes, I speak. Hello, <laughs> Dolly's here. Oh, you want us to do Hello, Dolly? Okay, we can do that. We don't usually do that. But before we do, let me just say that um, we do have CDs available. Any, anybody know what CDs are? One guy, <laughs> one guy, all right. Well, maybe he'll, okay, two. So maybe we'll sell two, unless I can convince you that of the worth of our CD, which was recorded live in a concert, much like this evening, the excitement was there. You'll feel the wild abandon that you feel here when you hear us live and in person. And um, you might want to consider recreating that in your own home with the purchase of one or two or three dozen of our CDs. <laughs> Um, which are available back there. They make great stocking stuffers, all kinds of reasons. There's no greater way of showing the depth of your love for your loved one than with the purchase of one or two or three a dozen. dozen uh, <laughs> someone's been here before. <laughs> yes, and we do have a guarantee. Unlike any other band in the country, we have a guarantee for our CDs. If you don't like our CD, you can send it back to me and I will send you one I don't like. <laughs> and I've got a whole stack of them at home to prove it. <laughs> All right, so that's enough with that pitch. All right, we were going to play something else, but sure, we'll play Hello, Dolly. Generally, we don't take requests unless they're written on the back of a $100 bill, but <laughs> we are feeling very charitable today. We haven't played this one in ages, and I must say, if I don't say so myself, that Jim Fryer sings the living daylights out of this tune. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Wait, is it only one guy that wants to hear it? You're Hello, Dolly! Woo! Yeah. Woo! Woo! Yeah. Woo! Woo! All right. And this was the tune that uh, Lewis' recording of this knocked the Beatles off the number one in the hit parade when it came out in 64. So that's kind of cool, right? It's very cool. It's yeah. actually a good tune. All right, so let's um, we'll play it, and then we'll see what happens. Someone will sing it. Let's do one chorus first. Yeah, one.
Kelly, I told you we'd end together. <laughs> all right, all right, folks. Um, we've only got time for one more tune. I'd like to thank you very much for coming. I also would like to tell you that the uh, group that plays after us here at 8.30 is a fine, fine group, Frank Vignola Guitar Night. Frank Vignola is easy for me to say. Frank Vignola's Guitar Night. Alex Raderman will be playing drums with them tonight. Whoa. The great Alex Raderman, the special guest, Tessa Lark on the violin. So uh, talk to your server about what arrangements to make if you want to come back for the 8.30 show. At any rate, we are thankful for your presence here this evening. We are so happy to see you. Thanks for coming out to hear us. We do hope to see you again. If you can't make it, send your friends, send your enemies. They won't be your enemies anymore. After you send them here, I guarantee it. Because everyone likes Hello, Dolly, right? Woohoo! Uh, yeah, it's a little corny, maybe, but it's a great song, right? It makes you feel good. So if you have any enemies you want to, like, take care of, instead of, like, you know, doing something nefarious, send them here. They won't be your enemies anymore. That's right. Yes, the Common Ground Orchestra, that's us. So thank you for coming. We're going to leave you, as we always do, with a Louis Armstrong composition from the year 1936. Here's Swing That Music. Good night, folks. <laughs>
Yes, folks, as the sun sets over West 44th Street, it's time to say goodnight. Thank you once again for coming out to hear us. Until next time, how about one more hand for these incredibly talented musicians up here? <laughs> Including, without limiting, the generality of the foregoing. Jim Fryer, Joe Boga, Will Anderson, Arnie Arntzen, Alex Raiderman, and yours truly, David Ostwald, reminding you that if you're driving tonight, please make sure you have a car.